So we found our numbers by going like this. We're starting in the key of A for this example. That's at the fifth fret. And we counted the numbers up by going, skipping a fret. So on the sixth string, you started on the fifth fret. That's A, key of A. That's number two. That's number three. And then you do the same thing on the next string to get four, five, and six. So that looks the same on both strings. One, two, three, skip a fret each time. And then four, five, six are on the same fret. So one and four are the same. Two and five are the same fret. Three and six are the same fret. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then seven's always a fret below where one was. So if one's here, seven's here. So first progression we did was we start on one, we put that little power chord. So you have on the sixth string, fifth fret on the sixth string, seventh fret on the fifth string. Just play that eight times. And we count it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. And what I did was I took that sixth fret and I moved it down a fret. It's called flatting it. So we're going to call this a flat six. What I'm doing is putting my pointer finger on the eighth fret of the fifth string and doing the power chord. So that's on the tenth fret of the fourth string. Hit it eight times so you get a, you know, get a groove. And then we went down here. I took my seven and I moved it down a fret. So instead of the fourth fret, we're moving it down to the third fret. We're calling this a flatted seventh chord. We're going up to seven and move it down, flatten it. So I'm putting my pointer finger on the third fret of the sixth string and then making the chord. So that's on the fifth fret of the fifth string. Eight times and then go back to where we started. One on the sixth string. So that little progression, I'm going to record it real quick. I'll do it with a loop. It goes like this. One, two, three, four. Fifth fret. Eighth fret. Third fret back on the sixth string and back to one. I'll do that again. It's fifth fret on the sixth string. Eighth fret on the fifth string, third fret on the sixth string, and back to one. Okay, so we started that on the fifth fret. That's where we had our first chord. Our key was A. So the scale that goes with it is also going to start at the fifth fret. It's on five. The scale we're going to play against is eight, five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, and back to eight, five. So. And if we learn to do some licks, the licks are going to be things like this. A lot of bends. You're also going to kind of learn to roll around between the strings, like between strings like this. Or... Those scales sound really good when you kind of jump across the strings. And some like fast licks like hammer-ons. scales. And that's where all the, the solos come from. Got a couple more minutes, so I'm going to get the, um, the other chord progression we did, which is like a blues thing. So starting on the same fret, fifth fret, same chord, but this time I'm going to do different numbers. I'm going to do the little shuffle. So I hit that twice, and I have my pinky on the fifth string ninth fret. So you get this little... It gives more of like a bluesy shuffle thing happen. You can play that even too. You don't have to go long, short, long, short. You can go like just tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. But we're going to do long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. And then I did the four chords. So I counted up one, two, three, four, five, six. Four is here at the same fret on the fifth string. So we start on the sixth string. And we're just going to take that whole thing and move it to the next string. That's called a four chord. So for that four chord, I got my pointer finger on the fifth string, fifth fret, my ring finger on the fourth string, seventh fret, and my pinky's going on the fourth string, ninth fret, back and forth. And the five chord is just two frets higher than that. Take that four chord, move it up. So my pointer's on the seventh fret of the fifth string, 
Ring is on the 9th fret of the 4th string, and pinky's going to the 11th fret of the 4th string. And for that groove, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the 1 chord shuffle, the 4 chord shuffle, go back to 1, and go up to 5. So just 1, 4, 1, and 5, just to get like a little groove going with those chords. Get the looper going, so... That's the 1 chord. Move it up. That's the 4 chord. Move it back to 1. And then up to 5. I started in the same key, so I'm going to play my scale in the same key. Starting with my pointer finger on the 5th fret. Cool. And we'll do some licks there. Cool. We got a roll there. I just realized David's been waiting for about 5 minutes, so I'm going to cut the video there. I'll send that to you, okay?